What's up there, Mr. Mike Kaufman, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use Screencastify Pro versions, edit tools, and editor to make some edits to your videos to cut, to trim, to add text, and so forth to improve your ability to make quality instructional videos for your audience. Let's get going. So to get started, what you want to do is you want to find the video that you want to edit. You can do that in the three bar menu and clicking on my recordings, or if your recording is all automatically popped up in a tab, like it looks like it has here, you can then click open in editor. All right, so note that does take a little bit of time to upload. Videos carry a lot of data and anything web-based sometimes can take a little bit of time depending on your internet speeds. All right, the first tool I want to point out is over here on the right side, which is your ability to zoom in and out on your timeline. All right, so I've zoomed all the way out so I can see the entire eight minute video recording, but I can also then zoom in right, to find some more detailed stuff. Right, so for example, probably going to want to trim a little bit of that end of my video. Now to figure out that exact point, I'm going to move my timeline right there. I'm going to press play. All right, so it looks like right about here is maybe where my end of my video was. So that I've left my marker there, and I'm just going to simply pull it back, trim it to that point. All right, next up, let me zoom back out so I can get a full sense. Uh, the next tool, and we're going to go all the way to the left side, is the cut. So let's say you've made a mistake somewhere in the middle of your video. I don't know, right around there. Let's zoom in a little bit. And the first part of the mistake happened there, so I'm going to click. I've got my white uh, marker line there, as well as my clip is highlighted in yellow. So now I can click Command B, or on the scissors, and it made a cut. So now from here, so again, I'm going to find out where my mistake ends. I'm going to leave my timeline right there, and go back either and click Command B, or the scissors. And now I've successfully clipped the clip into places. Now, to erase this middle place, I can click on it. I know it's clicked on because it's highlighted in yellow, and I either I can click delete on my keyboard or click trash can, and now that piece is gone. Now the next thing that I can do is I can crop right parts of the video. So let's say in the very beginning, right when I'm introducing it, right right here, and let's see, let's say I want to have my video just of myself, right? So I notice it changes right around there. So what I can do, just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to clip it. And then on this part, I'm going to crop. And so I'm going to draw it around just this, so that way my face is nice and big, and click Done. Now, if we play the beginning. What's up there, social studies students? This is your social. Notice now the background's no longer there, and instead you see just a zoomed in of my wonderfully looking face. That's that is your crop. The next one is your zoom in feature. So I'm going to flip up a little bit ahead of my video in a place where I might zoom in. Uh, for example, I'm showing off uh, some symbolism. Or I'm going to go over an infographic. So let's say right around here, let's see, let's say right around there, I want to zoom in on what I'm actually talking about. So again, I'm going to leave my marker there. And just to make it easier, I'm going to split the clip just so I know when to start and when to stop zooming in. All right, and let's say right around there. Again, clip it. And now, let's come over here and let's zoom. So now I can change the duration of the zoom by dragging it out. So I'm gonna do it for about that clip. And then you can also change how quickly or not it zooms in, how quickly or not it zooms in or out. All right, so it's about a half a second. You can always move it in slower, show it out faster, than that way you can see the difference. Let's press play. Here. All right, and then it zooms in. All right. Now I can determine where it zooms in. I want it to zoom in right there. So now let's go back in there. Let's play. Here. Mm -hmm. Representing all types of food. Now, it doesn't mean specifically. So now you can see helping students really zoom in on what it is that I'm talking about. Again, that is that zoom key. The next tool that we're going to talk about is our adding text. And so again, let's find a spot in the video to add some text. Maybe here, I don't know, we'll go in the beginning short. So I'm going to click, click on the clip. And then I'm going to click on the text button and say intro, intro to infographics. Now I can make it bold, click on it, highlight it, make it bold. I can make it italicized, underline, change the text color change the background color, whatever it is, as well as change some basic fonts. And then I can do some sizes. Now, 
You don't have too much control over where it goes. However, you can using this key, this button right over here, just determine where on the page it's going to be. So if it's on the left, we can make it in the middle, or we can make it over on the right, as well as we can move it, whether it's going to be in the middle, the top, or whether it's going to be the bottom, right? Now, the last thing I can do here is I can change the duration that the text shows up and see how that looks. This is Mr. Kaufman, and in this first of three videos, we're going to be diving deep into infographics. All right, so again, there you can do some minor adjustments on text and where it is. Now, the last tool that we're going to talk about is the ability to add a clip. So let's say you've got two videos that you want to combine into one. You can click, click Add Clip, and you can either upload something directly from your desktop or add one from Drive. So if I click there on desktop, it's going to prompt me to find the video that I want. Let's say I'm going to do this one. It's going to process the video. It's going to take a little bit of time. So once it's uh, loaded up there, you can see then the clip is now added to the end. You can then do the same things, right? You can go in there and make edits and changes and so forth. Now, once you are all done, you can then click the export button. And from there, you can then choose to export it locally as a saved video file or save it to Google Drive. So that's it on how to edit using Screencastify and limited edit tools to create high quality instructional videos. Good luck.